Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater channel and I have I decided to start a new vlog, I guess is what uh, what they're called. And I'm not going to do this every day, but I'm going to try to put out just some personal thoughts about boats and boating and whatever randomness enters my mind during my uh, daydreaming uh, time during the day, which maybe I'll call this vlog the uh, day boater or something like that. Day boating. Daydreaming about boats. Anyway, we have owned a number of boats over the years. Going back to my early childhood, I did not own this boat, but my dad did. This was a, a little 14 foot fishing boat. I don't even know what brand it was. I know that it had 35 horsepower Chrysler on the back of it that he worked on all the time, but that's kind of where I got hooked on boating. And here's a picture of me when I was a very young kid uh, piloting my uncle's boat. I believe this boat was called the Aurora. I've had the uh, boat bug for quite some time. I went through a career of flying airplanes, uh, selling airplanes, corporate flying, uh, life flight type of stuff. Did that for 12, 14 years. Um, so we have owned eight different boats and not all of them made it to the water, but uh, our first boat, this Glastron, it was a 1975 Glastron V156. Uh, we did use this down on Clinton Lake in Illinois and enjoyed it just uh, kind of getting that first uh, real boat owner experience and then uh, uh, moved to Wisconsin and bought this boat this is a 1985 Landau a 23 foot cuddy cabin this is a pretty obscure boat there isn't much information on these out there I don't know how many they built I found it on eBay and it did get slipped at uh, Skipper Buds in Oshkosh for about three weeks maybe a month uh, and then we found that the uh, engine block was cracked due to improper winterization that's a lesson learned there I didn't pay very much for that boat a couple grand so I wasn't out of, out a bunch of money I just sold the boat as 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 is actually got almost all my money back but a few years went by where we didn't own any boats and uh, then I got into uh, got the idea to restore uh, uh, an older boat this is a 1981 Glastron SSV 167 bow rider uh, this is how the boat looked when I first bought it brought it home had no motor on it had a rotten transom had uh, rotten stringers the floors were bad everything I restored this boat down to the uh, just bear haul. I did actually put everything online on the Glastron owners forum. And I don't know if that's still up or not, but if you want to read about it, um, I'll, I'll put a link down on the uh, bottom there, but great project. While I had this boat, I also bought a 1976, no, a 1973 GT 160 shown here without the motor. I bought this boat for the motor to put on the SSV 167 and uh, ended up not using the motor, actually ended up not even getting, not, didn't get either one of these boats on the water before selling them. But the interesting thing about the GT 160, it was a beautiful boat. I, I If I could have kept it, I would, um, just didn't have any space for it. When I, when I put this boat up for sale on Craigslist, a guy drove all the way from Dallas, Texas to Green Bay, Wisconsin uh to buy this boat for me and it, it just it just goes to show how boats in good shape uh that are fairly rare like this one this gt160 will go pretty much anywhere here is the uh, ssv167 finished uh turned out beautiful i used uh some some uh top side paint from all grip this is a two-part paint and it, it is just absolutely gorgeous i love how this boat turned out redid the floors redid the seats had the the upholstery done professionally uh the passenger the driver's seat and the passenger seat were uh, just purchased off of uh probably amazon or something like that i decided to not put a motor on this boat i sold the engine off of the gt160 separately uh, i was going to put a motor on this one brand new motor found out that i uh, couldn't find a bank to finance an engine going on a boat of that vintage so that boat went up for sale and it actually went to texas as well uh the guy didn't drive up to pick it up but he had a delivery guy a delivery company come pick the boat up and they just towed it all the way down to texas um, so both of those glass drawns went to new owners in texas 
I am still in touch with the guy that owns the SSV-167. The last I knew, he still didn't have it on the water, but he was working on it. So after that, this here is a 1969 Lund um, that I fully restored as well. Bought this boat off the side of the road for $150 on, on a trailer with a motor and uh, completely restored it. Took it down to the bare hull again, redid the floor, new carpeting, um, just went through everything, got that old motor running and uh, repainted it. it looks great i sold this boat to a super lovely couple down in the chicago north chicago area they absolutely love the boat they send me updates all the time on the the fun that they're having with it so very proud of that one this is the 2002 regal 2665 commodore it's a 30 foot express cruiser uh, technically length overall i think is 29 feet 7 inches with the extended platform uh, swim platform i bought this boat for uh, to be our weekend getaway for Door County. Uh, we were looking at possibly buying a condo in Door County. Anything that we wanted with a water view or on the water was 400,000 plus. Uh, and then I thought, well, you know what? Why don't we just buy a boat that is big enough for us to stay on for a weekend or a week even, and we'll get that water view by being on the water. So still on this boat, uh, I'll be gone on the, th the third season running this boat here shortly done all kinds of work to it, made it look better. Uh, mechanically, it was very well cared for. Uh, just done some regular maintenance stuff on it. I could talk about that in another in another vlog, but uh, I've also uh, gotten into wood boat building. This is the uh, tugboat I built. This is a 2019, uh, because I finished in 2019, Berkeley Engineering designed tugboat I call Neptune. And we've had this uh, down at Lake Geneva. I've had this in uh, the little lake here in Hartford called Pike Lake. It's been up in Door County, and people just absolutely love this thing, and it's it's a blast. This is one of those boats where I probably will never, ever sell this thing. Uh, I just love it to death, and I'm not going to sell it. Uh, now I'm working on a little uh, four-seat runabout called the Boson 11. This is the status of that project. There is uh, the tugboat build, obviously, uh, last year. If you're on this channel, you probably have seen it everything uh, building that boat start to finish is is on this channel the boson 11 is also on this channel i try to post video updates on that every week or so uh, i do put out a video of some sort every week or so whether it's on the tugboat the boson 11 or the regal so anyway that's just an intro to me i'm gonna try to do this vlog every few days maybe when i come across uh, some idea that i want to talk about i've got some boats boat uh, stuff on the walls here that I'll show. My favorite boat of all time is up there. I'll just gonna leave that hanging right now until uh, maybe the next vlog we'll talk about that. But thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. Send me some comments. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and check out all my other videos on this channel. And I uh, hope you enjoy, or if you enjoy DIY boating, uh, DIY boat building, DIY boat maintenance, all that stuff is, uh, is a part of this channel. So we'll see you next time on uh, the Day Boater Vlog.